everybody so as you know my name is Keonti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot this is going to be a love message okay a love message for our Libras so Libra Sun Moon Rising Venus Jupiter Mars or North Node it does not matter love if you in any way identify as a Libra then this is a love reading intended for you now keep in mind if you are like married and I'm talking about happily married you in love, honey. Everything is good. Please do not try to make these messages fit and try to make your spouse into something he or she is not. If you are single and these messages um, come through for you, then they more, more than likely resonate, okay? So this is more so for the single individuals out there. Let's see what we got going on. Alright. Messages in love. Believer. Sort of peace. Please keep in mind, guys, if you want to book personal love readings, I am available for those as well. That info can be found in the description box beneath the video, okay? Let's see. Libra. What's up? There's also going to be an extended, okay? So we're going to take a look at the main situation here and anything that Spirit gives me to dive into, we're going to look into over on the extended on Vimeo, okay? So I'm going to post that information beneath as well. Let us see what we have here. Libra, let us see, God speaks, okay, so God has something to say to you, my love, all right, I feel like you may be noticing the number 33 a lot, or maybe even threes in general, whether it's by itself, double, triple, whatever, okay, um, I just feel like spirit is trying to grab your attention right now, and let you know that you're not by yourself, let you know that you're not alone, let you know that your prayers are being heard, some of you are seeking a person who is actually, um, you know, good for you, as you should. You don't want just anybody. You don't want to be with just anybody. So I feel like you're doing a lot of praying, okay, trying to attract the perfect type of person to you, okay, not just anybody. Let us see what we have here. <clears throat> we have legacy of light, okay, yeah. So I feel like you know you can't just be with anybody. I just heard, <laughs> I got to watch my back because I'm not just anybody. Some of you know that you're very special. We have God speaks shining the light down on you and then we have legacy of light the person carrying the light so you know you it's kind of like you feel you have a responsibility to, you know to be with a certain type of person they can't just be anybody like that's just what it feels like okay then we have the light field exactly all of this light um it has to be somebody who's of light energy somebody who's of good spirit somebody who you know um is kind hearted somebody who is warm somebody who is you somebody who matches your fly matches your efforts matches your consistency that's what i see here all right underline the energy no one without knowing i feel like some of you feel somebody coming but you're not sure you don't know who this person is you have no idea where they are you know, it's not like you out here literally looking for them. No, you're not out here on dating sites and all that other stuff. Some of you probably are. You get what I'm saying? But for this specific message, this is not about that. I'm not saying you on dating sites. Oh, I know it's that one. So I know that we about to go on a date because I picked a date with that person. No, I'm saying some of you feel somebody's energy coming. You don't even know who this person is. You might know them, but you don't know who this energy is that you're feeling. You feel it. You feel what's about to take place for you. You know that you're about to be with somebody. You you feel your person coming. Like, I don't know how to explain it to those of you who don't know the shit. But for those of you who know the shit, you're feeling this energy of this other person. Okay, so if this is a twin flame, perhaps you're feeling your twin flame's energy. Okay, that would make sense. Let us see what's going on here. <clears throat> Pre-shuffle, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? So we're talking about love, romance. <clears throat> somebody being soft on you, you being soft on somebody, okay? Maybe you met this person already, and she has already told you that's your person, okay? Maybe for whatever reason or another, you and this person are not together, but you know. You don't know how you know. Like they say, knowing without knowing. You don't know how you know. But you know that's your person, okay? Or maybe you met somebody and you saw them for the first time ever and you're like, that's my husband, that's my wife. You don't know what made you think that, what made you say that, but you just, you know, okay? So let us see what we have here. Messages of love for Libra, please, spirits. Messages of love for Libra, please. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords, okay, exactly. So we're talking about what you know, all right? We're not just going off of your feelings and, you know, the emotions and everything. No, we're going off of what's logic, okay? 
some of you, um, you just kind of, I mean, you're manifesting it. You're conjuring it up. We have the Knight of Cups here in reverse. I feel like maybe some of you were trying to get a commitment from somebody that was not the right person for you. And Spirit has been telling you to kind of move around from that person this entire time with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Because there's somebody new coming in. So, a lot of you were hurting when you had to move from whoever this old energy was. But you kind of knew without having certainty that there was a reason for what Spirit was doing. Like, you just knew. Alright, God is, is taking this situation away from me because it's something much better about to come. Okay? Let us see what we have here. We got the King of Pentacles. So this person is going to be a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Very reliable, very dependable. I feel here as a Queen of Swords, King of Swords. This is somebody who is extremely independent as well. This is a free thinker, somebody who uses their mind. They get paid to think. Okay, this is somebody who may work with technology, somebody who um, works with information or anything like that. Okay, anything that strings really large information together, codes and all that. That's the swords energy their their mind is spectacular okay your mind is something else libra okay that that mind of yours and it's like you're a genius kind of okay like you got that mad genius scientist type of energy going on and like i said it just can't be anybody they have to match you or they have to be reliable or they have to be dependable and i feel like with this person whoever they are even for the fellas they're not looking for you to come and save them. They, like, got this superhero energy to themselves, you know. They radiate. They have a glow to them. All of this stuff with legacy of light and everything. I feel like you really found somebody who you feel like is meant to carry your legacy. Like, this is the person I feel a lot of you want to have children with. Um, yeah, a lot of you want to have children with this person. A lot of you feel like, you know, even if you have kids, that's the one. Like, you want that person to birth your conscious children like that's the type of energy that i'm getting from this okay so let us see what we have here what do we got we have the nine of wands and it's in reverse okay so i feel like we're putting our guard down um like i said with the queen of swords king of swords being very independent maybe that's what it is you don't like this person coming in and and um kind of making you feel like they're saving you all right you're like i don't need saving okay i don't need saving all right so with the Knight of Cups in reverse, it could just be hard for you to commit, to commit to this person because you're afraid of being hurt or because, you know, something. With the Nine of Wands in reverse, it's like, A, you're letting your guard down, and B, Spirit is confirming there's really no need of you to feel like you have to have your guard up. Because this person here, she's lighting a protective candle. She has a black candle lit. She got a doll with, with needles in it. And it's like, Ma, chill out. Like, you know, <laughs> chill out. You know, relax. We got the Seven of Cups right here in reverse. I don't feel like this person has a whole bunch of other options. Somebody could, I see somebody doing work on somebody, like using a picture of somebody and trying to attract that person to you because you know that's your person. This person may be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. All right. It's a couple of things that I'm getting visions of and hearing and just other things going on over here, y'all. But we got, we got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like. Somebody's making this a lot harder than it needs to be. This is a love situation, okay? This is a love situation that desperately wants to take place, okay? Underline the energy is the two of cups, exactly. So these are two people that are just meant for each other, all right? So we have so many more things to look into, but we're going to do that over on Vimeo. If you're interested in looking deeper into this reading, I'm going to have that link in the description box for you. It's going to be available for purchase, okay? Peace and hair grease, guys.